innovation. Responsibility. La Liga is the future. La Liga is so much more. It's a different way of seeing the world. Good afternoon and welcome to Moi Stadium Kisumu, in the third uh, largest city in Kenya. And this is the 12th round of the Kenyan Premier League where 18 time champions Gormaya are taking on four time champions, that is Ulinzi Stars. Remember, Gormaya are the defending champions. The weather today 28 degrees centigrade and uh, the weather speed is 11 kilometers per hour. Of course, the humidity at 59 percent, really good opportunity or good weather conditions for a game of football really right here on the lakeside city of Kisumu and all those fans have come all the way to come and watch the Kenyan champions take on Ulinzi Stars, one of the military sides that is still remaining in the Kenyan uh, Premier League. Remember those fans there, they are anticipating uh, something of something really good for them of course uh, remember Gormaya, top of the league and uh, they are only lost one game this this season as you can see they've come here and shortly we'll be hearing from the coaches what they have to say ahead of this game and let's just have a listen to what they have to say no it's an honor to, to win an individual award but i cannot get the award without my um, coaching staff behind me and of course the players so you know i it's also it, it, i shared it with them as well the fact that uh, you've uh, won eight matches out of, uh, of course, nine, that should also give you the confidence that Ulinzi is a tough team, but then you have the firepower to deal with them. Yeah, of course. You know, we have um, quality in our team and, and the players are very good. You know, they're, they're good players. The character of the players has been excellent. And uh, yes, the team that we play against, you know, we respect them. But, you know, we just focus on our game and we know they're going to be a strong a strong team to play against and so you know hopefully by the end of the 90 plus minutes we have the three points the goalkeeper Bonifacio Solwich is back in the frame now it's playing really well you must be pleased also with his performance yeah you know he, he played well the last game and we used two nil and he saved the penalty actually a double save which was excellent and uh, you know if that would have gone he maybe might have put us a bit under pressure as you know two nil is not a safe it's not a safe score so, but you know, we did well and, and we deserve to win the game at the end of the game. Kenneth Muguna is missing today's game again. Uh, what is it all about? Well, he has an ankle, ankle injury. You know, for those who are out there presuming and, and have assumptions that, or oh, what I've been reading, that, oh no, he doesn't want to play because of this, because of that. It's not true. He, he just has an ankle injury and we don't want, we don't want to risk it. It's a long season. We've still got 30, 25, 30 games to play. Okay, we expect a very tough match uh, because uh, uh, Gormaya, uh, for now, they are on top and they are defending champions, of which uh, they, they, are, they have a good uh, match. And I know they will come for three points and we have come also for three points. We respect them, but we, we will meet them on the ground and, and see you after the last week. You must be proud, uh, proud of the fact that your goalkeeper, Timothy Odiambo, was named the Kenya Premier League uh, Player of the Month. Uh, that gives you some comfort that you have a good goalkeeper today. Uh, apart from Timothy also, we have uh, Nando Elvis and, uh, and Omalwa, which gives me uh, uh, that morale, because when uh, your players are called upon to represent the country, then you, you feel like you are somewhere as a coach. So I'm very happy and it motivates uh, the other players. And that fact maybe will motivate us for, for this match today. A big score against uh, Karibangi Shark scoring four goals. That should also give you the comfort that today at least you have goals in your side. Yeah, it was a very good match. We scored uh, uh, four goals. I hope the players today will also come with that uh, morale and get goals earlier. Uh, the Korobank Sharks we scored very early in the game. So I hope the, today also they will do the same and uh, win this match. Well, those uh, Gormaya fans, you know, they are happy. They are you know, banging all those drums, knowing that uh, their team is really doing fine, despite uh, challenges here and there. 
of course, uh, Gurmaya <laughs> missing. Kenneth Muguna and the coach has really talked about that, saying it's not really so much to read about. Of course, Ulinzi Stars, I presume, uh, in red. So Gurmaya fans, uh, you, you would tell, but they've come here to enjoy a good game of football that uh, both teams serve. Of course, uh, in the commentary booth, uh, I'm joined by former Ulinzi coach, who is now taken some other duties, that is uh, Yusuf Chipo guy, Karibu Sana. How is uh, everything turning out? Uh, thank you very much, Tosking, and uh, everything is okay. And uh, we are posed for a very entertaining match here, uh, girl <laughs> versus... Uh, As you can see, the fans, you know. <laughs> yeah, the fans, they, they actually make the 12th player. And this has been the foundation of Gormayo's success. Anytime they bring their games back to Kisumu, they have a massive following. That massive following, I think, uh, pushes them an extra yard in performances. <laughs> you can see that. And I'm very sure, as a former coach of Lindsay, you must be looking forward to these uh, games because you played against Gormaya. I've played against them a couple of times. They are always very tough matches. On the games against Gormaya in Kisumu, they are very, very, very tough indeed. And we expect also a very much a, a tough game even today in the afternoon. And, and I think also the fans are realistic. They know that Ulinzi is uh, such a good side. And you can see they've come. Uh, they have packed the rafters uh, here at uh, Moy Stadium, Kisumu. <laughs> Some on top of those trees and enjoying the view. Yeah, everybody's looking for a way just to see the game, wherever it's on top of the trees or it is uh, anywhere. As long as he sees uh, the game, uh, it is important because uh, Ulinzi is one of the most tough teams God has ever encountered in the Premier League over the years. Of course, uh, remember, we've just said that Gormai have won 18 uh, titles, and there they are. They're filing out of uh, the dressing room where led by those match officials. Of course, today, the center referee will be Lucas Oviambo, and uh, Adam Ujuma, the first uh, referee. Well, the second referee will be Gladys Cameron. And that stadium there, that pitch there, you see, uh, look at those head-to-head uh, -head statistics. Gormaya in top uh, position, Mulinzi uh, fifth. Of course, they have uh, played nine won uh, eight games uh, that is and uh, you can see those draws uh, what does that tell you very competitively because uh, you see goras won eight they have, they have uh, ulinza was won four matches goras scored around 20 goals ulinza scored around 10 goals so it's a competitive uh, game they have all, both teams have lost once only against so, madari against madari identically oh, so yeah. it is it is a tough match yeah, that, that line up there, Ben Fasol, which we just talked about the man, uh, very experienced uh, now, he's coming back, he's in the frame for two consecutive matches now. Yeah. And you can see Josh Onyango, they call him Bali Mool, he's the one <laughs> captaining the side today. And uh, you can see that formation, 4-5-1. Very, 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 very attacking-minded and also defensive-minded. Remembering uh, that the same, same, same team played against uh, Bandari. In the midfield, uh, one side is Samuel Nyango, Tobias, Fred, Francis Safier, Lawrence, and Clifton Miheso. They make the midfield pack to feed Yekin, Yepe, Yepe, the balls up front. The big man there. And now you can see the center referee there, Lucas Otieno, uh, Odiambo, sorry. And of course, uh, Andrew Juma in black there is the fourth uh, uh, referee ma or match official today. Uh, with those, uh, you know, pre-match... Uh, they, they, they have a game at their hands. They yes. have a game, they have a game. And yeah. you can see Ulinzi Timothy Odiambo has been called up into the Arambe Stars squad. And uh, the other players, Elvis, there is also Elvis uh, Nandwa, there is uh, uh, Oscar Omalwa. This is a competitive side for very com their formation. Very competitive, considering the team has been playing together for some time. Birgen, Andai, Michika, Arun, they have played as a back four for a long time in this team. Waweru to one side, Ongoma as the captain, Kago and Elvis Nandu has also been called for the national team from the midfield park. Now the two strikers, Oscar Wanyama and Enosh. Enosh is a classical finisher. We knew last year he scored around 20 goals. It gives a lot of uh, prowess up front for Lindsay to go for the win today. This is a big match for Gormaya because uh, they'll be facing two of the deadliest strikers. And you can see Gormaya taking on their police entries there. And we'll be taking a break when we come back. Enjoy it. If you think this is just a game, you're wrong. Prestige, the greatest show on earth. La Liga transcends society. La Liga is equality. Innovation. Responsibility. La Liga is the future. La Liga is so much more. It's a different way of seeing the world.
Good afternoon and welcome once uh, welcome back once again here in Kisumu. That is the Moi Stadium in Kisumu, Kenya's third largest city. Remember Kisumu gained its status, uh, the city status in 2001, that is December. And you can see the fans, they've come uh, here really willing to urge on their side, Gormaya. Uh, they, are, they are belting out their anthem, that is uh, God Tunde Yuakine. I don't know if uh, over all these years, uh, Yusuf, you've come to memorize that. Uh, yeah, normally questions the uh, opposition, what are they crying about? <laughs> and that is, uh, it gets us underway, Gormaya gets us underway, they are in their uh, home colors, green, all green. Uh, they are starting from the right uh, to the left of your, your screen. Of course, uh, you can follow us on Twitter and also the Kenyan Premier League uh, website. Uh, Ulinzi starts in uh, all red, that is uh, their colors. And that man there, Afria Francis the Ghanaian, is expected to do much. And in the commentary, as we said, Robin Toskin and uh, Yusuf Chipo. And in Kiswahili commentary, there is Ali Salim Manga, the veteran, and the youngster there, Ali Hassan Kauleni. Both of the very good commentators in Kiswahili. If you're enjoying Kiswahili, well, you can follow it up. And Ulinzi are trying to pass the ball just right there to try and create the rhythm. As we said, uh, Lindsay need to have that consistency. The coach talked about, they said that they will not respect Gormaya, they respect Gormaya, but they will not uh, be cowed by them. Yeah, it is true, because uh, at the end of the day, they are all competitors in the same league. But I think they only need to respect and uh, be careful about uh, their usage of the ball and how they play without the ball. That was a tough tackle there from uh, Nyame, the Ivorian. Went in, uh, but that was just a collision of bodies. <laughs> but uh, considering the size of uh, <laughs> your man, I mean, uh, it's being, hit, being hit by a trainer. Yeah, that and is Enoch, a chain. Enoch fells it. Mm. It's still on the ground. No, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't uh, intentional. No? And the man, that man there, knows that uh, he will depend on Enoch Ochen. That's Benjamin Yangueso, the man who led Ulinzi Stars to their last Premier League win in 2010. And he's come back, he's tried to show up that team so as uh, they become competitive once again. And the referee there, uh, Lucas Odiambo, doesn't want us uh, to miss any part of the action. And, uh, and that was uh, that collision between uh, Nyame Yikpe Kislein with Enosh Ocheng. And that man there, coach, Stephen Pollack, you say he brings in a wealth of experience from outside a lot, Kenya. A lot, a lot of experience, because if you can see the way he's handling the matches, there are times the team Gorma is under siege, but uh, he makes changes, tactical changes, that normally end up uh, with uh, fruitful results for the team. Tobias Sotino, the midfield there. That man there, Josh Onyango, who has been named in the national team for the Sekafa, tries uh, to find his uh, winger there, but he couldn't. It back to goalkeeper Bonfils Watch, whom we are telling you that uh, this is his second game after that uh, fruitful outing against Uli uh, Bandari in Mombasa, where he saved a penalty. And the coach is really talking big about uh, his character. He's been out for quite some time, benched by Robert Mapigano, who now sits on the bench today. Yeah, it's true, he's been out for a lengthy time, but uh, he's a man of enormous, enormous, enormous uh, experience. That was a, that was a long lunching uh, <laughs> tackle by Ongoma on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on Lawrence. It's a battler, that midfield. Well, that's, that's where the ball of contention today is. Who wins the battle in the central part of the pitch? Gormaya on the attack. Tobias. Trying to find his uh, attacking two, but uh, he's cut off. That ball punted up from there, but Gormaya uh, deals with it. And that man there, uncompromising, he knows that Oscar Malwa can be of uh, you know, a niggly, pickly guy. He's little, uh, he's little, uh, he has the height. So Enosh had to push him a little bit in the back. He knows he's a good person who can flick the balls in the air. And that's up, the approach uh, of Ulinzi. Daniel Waweru to take that free kick uh, against Gormaya. The referee tells him. Coach, just take the ball back. And if, in case you are joining us, this is uh, Gormaya versus Ulinzi. A good cross into the goal area there by Brian Birgen. On which takes it and uh, launches it up front. A 
bit, uh, you know, quiet start. Uh, trying to size each other. And Loris Juma there in the midfield. Spread the ball wide. Got my on the attack, but then it's cut off uh, by that man there. It was a tough one. That was Andai. Bonifes, you talked uh, big about the, that uh, back four. But then let's see what they can do from this. <laughs> Against this Gormaya attack inside. Poor pass there. It's cut off. Goma there. That is Menosh. Uh, tries to pick out uh, his midfielder, but then uh, spread back. Lindsay trying to just. Uh, Compose, uh, compose themselves to yeah, yeah, yeah. pass Toski, the ball. I, I think they're, they're trying just to, to build up gradually from the back so that uh, they can come gradually into the game. Gormaya finds there Nyame. Skillful big man there. Tries to beat his man, but then uh, it's cut off for a corner. The first corner for Gormaya. <laughs> he, does, he doesn't understand what's happening there because... Uh, has been called for a free kick against Gormaya. <laughs> He's asking himself why that man there, Andai. He thought Andai had uh, kicked that ball out for a corner, but then uh, that is it. Apart from those, uh, you know, hard tackles we've just seen, two or three, you can see both sides are trying to play the ball. Try to size each other and go uh, we'll the stars on the attack there. Go across into the box, so flicked. Uh, that ball does not go out quickly, but eventually it goes out for a goal kick for Gormaya. Elvis Nando there was trying to get to the end of that pass, but then it was too much. Uh, all watch and starts the ball, spreads it wide to Brown Diek. Post finds uh, Geoffrey Ocheng. Ocheng spreads that ball wide to look for Jame Gislain, but then uh, he couldn't uh, control that ball well and, uh, you know, should have done better than that. that was a, a nice... It's a very good pass from uh, from Geoffrey Ocheng. Yes. He laid it for Yapi, but uh, <laughs> one two, a little bit one-two and the ball uh, went out for a corner. But you, you can see Gold Maya, they're, they're really interested in building up from the black and playing along the flanks, which is the strong point uh, of uh, Samuel Nyango and Clifton Nihesu. Yeah, we saw Ulinzi parade uh, 4 4 2 formation. They make sure that uh, their back four remain within those positions, and that's where Gora are trying to exploit. Yeah, yeah, and, and considering uh, the, 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 the two strikers, Afia, Francis Afia and uh, Yepe, because they can keep check of the four play, uh, defenders at the back there. So the, the full back areas will always be open for attacks. And that's why Gormaya really wants to concentrate more in those areas. Tobias spreads it wide. Gormaya on the attack now. Tobias uh, to the end of that uh, pass there. is taken down <laughs> by that man there. Bonventure Muchika and the referee has uh, to talk to him. Tell yeah. him, man. It, it, was a good, it, it, it was a good ball again, again to the flank. And uh, Toby Azotieno was uh, manhandled by Muchika. And uh, I think the, 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 the defense has to be very careful because if you can see the height uh, of Yeke, Yepe, it's very crucial for these high balls. And uh, the goalkeeper there, Timothy Odiambo, has to be alert. He's we said uh, about his qualities, he commands that area, is uh, trying to put everyone on standby, on check there, on their toes, because they know there's that man, big man there, Jame Nyame, he calls himself, Ikpe Gislain from Ivory Coast. He's lethal. He is very and lethal. <laughs> some anxiety there. <laughs> Wamalu ha had to, has to come back now to pick him because of the size. Huh? He's, he's, he's got <laughs> the, the height, he's got the power to, to deal yeah. with Nyame. Yeah. yeah. Now Clifton Miheso takes that uh, cross into the box and the goalkeeper comes out there, Timothy Odiambo. The referee has blown his whistle for an infringement on the goalkeeper, Timothy Odiambo. It was a dicey cross from uh, 
clip from here, so. Yeah, but there was infringement on Timothy. As I said, he's very good aerially. He went up, and up with open hands, parked the ball, and followed it to clear it out. Good uh, goal goalkeeping there. He kept no. his eye on the ball, even after Nyame went high up uh, together with Busolo. It, it, is, it is a very interesting game for Timothy today, because uh, I think uh, he's been now awarded to be his, uh, his first full international when he goes for the Eastern Central, because he, he's the only goalkeeper with uh, uh, Brian Buire. So he becomes the first choice for the forthcoming games in, uh, in Kampala. And Friedman there, goal, uh, that is a handball. The referee calls the ball for a free kick for Gormaya, goalkeeper. Timothy Odiambo, just in case you are joining us, 10 minutes uh, uh, match um, uh, played here at Kisumu, uh, Moi Stadium, Kisumu. And that man there hoists that ball deep into Gormaya area, but uh, it's flicked back. Goalkeeper Bonfens will watch. It's uh, comfortable with that. Starts it wide. But on that midfield there. How crucial will that uh, midfield battle be today? It Yusuf? will be very, very, very crucial because uh, if you look at Gurmaya, they have clustered it up. They have five midfielders inside. Mieso tackles, trickles inside, and Samuel Nyango trickles there to create a bunch of five players. So Lindsay must be very careful on how they operate in the middle there. That is the strength of Gurmaya, so that they can keep the ball and uh, now initiate the attacks from the midfield area. Wandiek, the ball. Cuts it uh, in the middle there, looking for Lawrence Juma, who leaves it to Josiah, uh, Josh, Josh to Geoffrey Chen. Gormaya taking it slow, Lawrence Juma with that ball in midfield. Finds Charles Momani. Momani spreads it wide to Beran Diek. That position there, 68% for Gormaya, 32 for Ulinzi Stars, uh, yet this game has not sparked into life yet. Not yet, they're still sizing up each other, but it's evident because uh, at the midfielder it's always five people against four. So Gormaya is having the better of the midfielder, uh, Tessa. Bernard Ngoma spreads it wide, uh, looking for Josh, uh, that is Enosh Ocheng. Controls that ball, takes it back, back in the middle there. Lindsay also trying to put strings uh, to string passes together. Spread it wide. And back to Brian Birgen there. A good throw ball into the Gormaya area. Good cross there, but then it's dealt with the goes out. For once, uh, Lindsay breaches that defense of Gormaya, but unable to take advantage of that. Momani. Pans that ball really up there over the halfway line. Ulinzi back in contention with that ball. But then he's cut off there, taken by Tobias. Tobias tries to look for Lawrence Juma. That was uh, an attempt from far, but then uh, Wamalwa there can't find uh, the target. Yeah, that, that's that was a good cross uh, through pass, and then uh, Brian Birgen tried a good cross there, but then uh, they couldn't uh, it, it was make a good, anything out of it. It was a very good build-up, but uh, the pass that Birgen played was not a pinpoint uh, to anybody in the box. Nyame now in attack, and uh, that ball is cut off there by that man, Bonfess and I. Another corner for Gormaya. Lawrence Juma comes to take that corner, and that man there, all eyes on him. He will be your first choice goalkeeper for the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup, which will be kicking off in Uganda next one week or so. Yeah, I think he has a, he has a very great point to prove in this match. He's, he's come out uh, up nicely, formerly from Sony, before joining the military side. He has uh, kept a lot of clean sheets. Lawrence, good cross into the box there, and uh, Yet another corner. They could not uh, conclusively deal with that corner. They have to concede. It was an in-swinger on the Wawero. Wawero decided to put it out for another corner ball again. Uh, another corner for Gormaya. Lawrence Juma, the man to take it. Swings it into the box there. The goalkeeper patches it out. Birgen spreads it wide to Enosh. 
Arsenal goes out for a throw in there. Joshua Nyango comes in to make sure that he nips in the back. That was a corner from uh, Lawrence Duma. And again, swinger. And again, the goalkeeper was there again to parry it out again. He has a bigger, big advantage in dealing with the uh, aerial balls in terms of crosses and corner balls. Nice there. interplay from Olinzi. Brian Bidgen there playing a big uh, role in that uh, uh, right back. Yeah, it seems uh, a lot of uh, activities are right-sided in, in, in your Lindsay stars. The build-up and the end of the build-up is always in Rugen's area of operation. Kormaya in attack, Miheso unable to control that ball and goes out for free kick, uh, that's a throw-in. Was under pressure from uh, Waweru Daniel. Shane Joffrey throws it back to Lawrence who finds Josh Onyango. A poor pass from uh, Josh and then uh, it's picked up by Oscar Wamalwa. What can they do with this? Back to the midfield there. Spread wide again. Waweru tries to find uh, Goma. Lawrence Juma spreads it wide to Ocheng and uh, scores elsewhere. We can see Sharks have gone down to KCB. They are trading KCB by goal to nil. And Zoya have taken the lead all against AFC Leopards in Bungoma in uh, Mumias. And Wazito are still nil-nil in that game against Chemelil. Remember, this is the 12th round of the Kenyan Premier League and uh, there are so many other matches spread across the country. FC Leopards, as you can see, they are trailing Zoya. Zoya being the home team. Sharks are having a <laughs> difficult season. Yeah, something seems uh, not right in Sharks. But uh, I think the same team, same consistencies, uh, new, new sponsors on board, they need to get better results. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Boniface Andai there finds uh, Birgen uh, back to Andai for Lindsay. Pants it over there, trying to get his front man, but then uh, it's not a useful pass as such. Uh, it is not, because uh, you, you look at Olinzi, they are doing a, a good build-up from the back, but now the, the pass after the build-up from the back is what is uh, delaying, uh, f f making them uh, not get it right, because they are just hitting it forward. Ondiek. Ondiek goes past this marker, halfway line, looks up, gets across, but then uh, it's poorly done. And Ulinzi cut off that uh, danger, but uh, the danger is not yet uh, dealt with uh, conclusively. Gormaya back in position again. Lawrence Duma in midfield. Lawrence finds uh, Geoffrey Ocheng wide the left. Cheng to a free here. Lawrence Duma back again to Joash. Balin Wal who spreads it looking for Ondiek. Ondiek. Back to Samuel Nyango. Nyango tries to find Nyame, but then Nyame can't deal with that. And Ongoma is fouled there in the process. And that man there is. Uh, you know, Nyame is very, it's very huge. And so the moment <laughs> he stands in front of him, you become as if you are a little bit smaller in size. And uh, there was a push by him on uh, on Ongoma. Yeah. And soon he's got the free kick. That was illegal. Uh, back pass to goalkeeper Timothy Odiambo who spreads it to Andai, Andai finds Brian Birgen. Birgen pounds it over there, looking for who? That ball can't get to the target man there. Oscar Wamalwa tries to hold off uh, his markers there. He wins a corner. That man there, big man, Josh. Gormaya yeah. have had uh, two corners there from those statistics. And now the first one for Ulinzi. And that man there just flashing across your screens. Uh, Bonfils will watch the goalkeeper making his uh, second start for Gormaya. He's had a difficult time at Gormaya, but uh, he's been his time. Now he's back in the frame, and the coach is really excited with the prospect of having another experienced goalkeeper. They start a short corner there. Cut off by Gormaya. Lawrence Juma there to Yame. Yame takes on uh, Brian Bigan, big man. 
good footwork, but then uh, he's unable to go past two guys. Uh, Daniel Wawero gets the ball out and uh, he concedes a goal kick, uh, a free kick, uh, pardon. That is a throw in. Geoffrey Ocheng to have that uh, throw in for Gormaya. Finds Lawrence Juma who gets it back to Ocheng. Hoists it up there, but to nobody in particular. And uh, Ulinzi uh, pick it, and that man Harun Mwale finds uh, Enosh back to Mwale. Finds uh, that midfield and then spread out with White there to Aweru. Ulinzi now with a good uh, string of passes there. Good cross there from John Cargo, but then Oscar Mamalwa can do better from that uh, range. It was a good ball by Bergen to choose Cargo, and Cargo delivered a pinpoint delivery to Oscar Mamalwa, who just nodded it above the, above, above the bar. He had already picked up Bonfess, but the goalkeeper had already stepped uh, one step forward. You've got to be taking such chances, coach. Yeah, actually, it's a game of who, who, who utilizes the chances that uh, they, they, they create this afternoon. Because if you look at the midfield area, it's very packed. So it's a, it's a number of chances that goal creates or Lindsay creates. Who capitalizes on them? Mihe saw in midfield there, the ball, gets it back to his captain, Josh, who finds uh, Samuel Onyango. Onyango puts it wide to get to Miheso, who wheels down the left flank, but is uh, taken care of by that man, Bernard Ongoma, the midfielder, formerly at FC Leopards too, but he's uh, found uh, a home to Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the captain. He has done very good services for, for Lindsay. Initially, as you've said, coming from uh, FC Leopards. He's a mainstay at the central part of the pitch uh, with, with, with Kago and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Nando. They are responsible to feeding the two strikers up front. But Ongoma didn't have really quite a good time at FC Leopards, but he's come to Lindsay and he's the mainstay. What changed? Yeah, initially, I think it was the competition that was uh, he, he had in, at, at FC Leopards. But once he came to, to Lindsay, he found that uh, he becomes the only player available for that defensive role. That's why he becomes the captain of the match. Elvis Nandwa with that ball finds uh, Ngoma, who spreads it wide to Birgen. Birgen to Daniel Waweru. Waweru back to Birgen. Now string good passes, uh, tries to find uh, Oscar Wamalo there, but uh, that man there makes uh, a mess out of that ball. Josh Onyango concedes uh, a throw in. The captain. Let's see what uh, Ulinzi can uh, make out of this. Brian Birgen, that uh, throw in, tries another one, but uh, that ball is taken out. And the goalkeeper is not happy there. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. all watch. Because all balls that have come to the left hand side of Gormaya's defense have been awarded to Ulinzi. And I think that is where the loophole is. That's what Bonfas is complaining about. That uh, they need to, to take care of the left hand side of defense. Apparently, again, Toskin, I think it's because uh, both Jewish and uh, Omani are right footers. So it's problematic playing uh, to the left hand side. The fans are enjoying what uh, Francis Afria is doing there. A bit of uh, what they call a Kanzu, Kanzu in uh, local parlance. And Undiek is taken down there by Enosh. He goes uh, out there to tell him, really, I didn't mean to do this, but the referee <laughs> is not happy about that and uh, doesn't broke that kind of thing. He believes that uh, the rhythm of the game is was, broken by that uh, cynical. It, it was it was it was a good cutting. It was a good cutting again. It was a good cutting by Ondiek. And uh, that uh, foul there by Harun Mwale on Gormaya. Yeah, it was, at times the, the fouls are tactical just to cut out the tempo <laughs> of the attack now. Exactly. <laughs> Brian Bigan with the header gets to Elvis Nandwa, who doesn't have a proper control of that ball, but the, the, the ball is back to him. Tries uh, to find his winger, but uh, it was a poor pass. Now comes uh, Onyango Samuel, formerly of Lindsay. Now he's playing uh, against his former teammates. 
<laughs> Lawrence Juma spreads that ball wide to Geoffrey Ocheng, who chests the ball really well. Uh, tries to find uh, with, uh, Clifton Miheso, but uh, he can't just get into that. And uh, the ball go <laughs> goes back to Lawrence Juma. You can see the way they are trying to do, to find uh, Geoffrey Ocheng. Yeah, because uh, the left-hand side, Clifton Miheso has already drifted. Poor pass again from uh, Gormaya. They're not finding that uh, good pass. And that man there, Lawrence Juma, knows that uh, he should have done better or could have done better. It was a better pass. It was a good pass. And uh, the last pass of both teams is what is really perturbing the strikers not to maybe get by the back of the net. Because the last pass of Gormaya is not a pinpoint to the strikers. Well, uh, in case you are joining us, 25 minutes gone here at Moi Stadium, Kisumu, Gormaya, the top of the table team, taking on Ulinzi Stars, who have harvested 20 points from 11 matches. They have actually won five matches, drawn five, and lost one, that is Ulinzi. Gormaya on the attack now, Mieso there, tries to find uh, Nyame there. The ball is not yet out, and, uh, well, Afriye there makes a mess out of that. It was a good chance, I know the... Clifton yeah. knows that he uh, should have done better a, there. He did a very good turning, but it was a miscue by Clifton Miheso. And uh, yeah, 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 Afira also wanted to bring it back, but uh, he, he knocked himself with the ball. I, I don't know, Coach. Uh, uh, pardon me, I'm still call, calling you Coach. Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> I'll always a be teacher well. is always a teacher. <laughs> what, what do you make of the pitch? It looks like uh, the pitch is a bit bumpy. Is it because of the artificial pitch? That's yeah. making uh, well, the well, ball... Uh, well, well, it's, it's looks artificial. It's a artificial, yeah. But it shouldn't be perturbing Gormaya. Yeah? They train the same, same same surface. I think it should be perturbing Ulinzi. So the passes from Gormaya to the, to the other players should be more clinical and more precise. But uh, again, the pitch has been overused also. It's not in the right shape that it should be as a, as a tough. Samuel Onyango finds uh, Cliff Romieso there on the left flank uh, with Geoffrey uh, Cheng available for him. Gets it, leaves it to. That was a good uh, a cross pass, I would say. And the goalkeeper comes out there. That was Tobias. He's trying to find his uh, frontman Jame, but uh, it was unable. Gormaya under pressure now. They consider corner there. That man there, Josh Onyango, he really didn't get a good connection with that ball. Now he, they have to defend a corner. Yeah, it was a long ball that came, uh, and the target is always Wenyama. And, uh, and uh, it, 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 is, it is a problem to Mumani and uh, Joash containing Wanyama with these long balls. So that is the second corner that they are giving away. And they need to be very careful about it. Corner. Second corner for Ulinzi. Both sides have now won two corners. Let's see what Ulinzi can make out of this. Here comes a cross into the danger area there. It's not dealt with. On the egg. Console that ball. Finds Lawrence Juma who spreads it wide through Francis Afria. Now Gormay on the attack. They are midway through. On the egg. Good cross there. Pandemonium in the Gormay. Uh, that is Ulinzi area. That man there. Samuel Onyango should have done better. The goalkeeper goes down. He's been appended in the process. It was a dicey cross uh, there from. Uh, it was a good clearance. He got a, a good pass from the back. Good ball. It was given by Lawrence to the flank. A fear took it. Looked up. Laid it out again for Ndiek. Ndiek delivered a very good cross. And Samuel Nyango, there was a collusion. And I think uh, it was a miscommunication between uh, the goalkeeper Tobias, his defender. Would have awarded Samuel Onyango a chance to score again. That was a brilliant chance for Gormaya to get something out of it. And Gormaya should have done really well from that. Uh, but you can see Ulinzi survived, but of course uh, they've had a good build up. Yeah, from, uh, from the back there. He gave again to the centre. He received a wall pass. That is Birgen. That Birgen again passed outside. Birgen continued continued this run. He was played again to the flank. And he would have did delivery, but the delivery was not pinpoint to anybody in particular. But it was a good stringing up of passes and build up by, by Ulinzi. That man there, Brian Birkin, crossed that ball. And of course the coach there, 
we have some concerns because uh, his side have uh, been on the attack, but they couldn't make use of that uh, dicey cross from uh, Bernard Ondiek. That goalkeeper was injured in the process. And the referee, Lucas Odiambo, once yeah. the ball uh, started. Some, some, some incident has just taken place here. It was the incident that awarded and Zoya their leading uh, goal uh, in the last match that Tulinzi played a draw against uh, Zoya. So Timothy needs to take a better charge and co coordination and leadership with his defense. He's only a young uh, goalkeeper. But of course, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the work is now cut out for the goalkeeper coach Francis Onyiso, formerly Arambe Stars, uh, first year's goalkeeper for so many years. He took Arambe Stars to the African Cup of Nations in 2004. Now he's been bestowed with that uh, responsibility. And uh, until now, Gormaya is still uh, locked in a stalemate with Ulinzi Stars here at Moi Stadium, Kisumu, after 30 minutes. But uh, Gormaya have had uh, one of the best chances there. They couldn't make use of it. Tobias in midfield finds uh, Geoffrey Ocheng. Ocheng under pressure. That ball goes out there from uh, Elvis Nandwa, who has also been called into the Arambe Star squad. Now, Cliff from Nyeso on the left side, waiting for his teammate to come to his rescue. Then he leaves it to Ocheng. Ocheng finds Lawrence Juma back to Nyeso, who spreads it wide again to Geoffrey Ocheng. Puts it in the middle of that uh, goal area, but is dealt with by Wilinzi. I don't go my heads that ball, but uh, not uh, con conclusive. Ochen finds Miheso. Miheso spread his wide to Samuel Onyango. Samuel Onyango in that box. Uh, what can he do with that? Goes out for a goal kick. That man there, Daniel Waweru, uh, hits the ball against. Uh, uh, it was a good build up Onyango. and uh, got a very good ball from Miheso. Miheso made a turn and laid. Uh, Samuel Onyango was indecisive of what he wanted huh? and decided to turn and but Wawero was already back in defense to save the situation. Nice cover there from uh, Daniel Wawero and uh, Ulinzi now launched there on attack. Picked up there by Daniel Wawero again. Birgen. They try a one-two there, but uh, the, uh, they are foiled in their attempt. Samuel Onyango there has to drop back and make sure that they cut out those uh, attacks from Ulinzi. Remember Samuel Onyango was once a soldier. He knew exactly where Birkin was going, <laughs> so he had to obstruct him. <laughs> now Ulinzi on the attack, uh, that man Brian Birkin again with the ball. Finds Daniel Wawero who crosses into the box there, but goal might have come out there to deal with it. And Miheso picks it in the middle, dribbles away, but he's under check. What can he do? He beats his man, finds Nyame, who's been quiet for the last five minutes. Uh, Nyame is uh, foiled there in his attempt to turn uh, with that ball by Muchika. Uh, I feel I feel Nyame is, uh, is, is, is not getting the service that he really wants, because I think uh, the midfielders and the people on the flank need to supply more balls for him so that uh, they can see his proneness in the box. Would you say then that uh, Gora missing Kenneth Muguna? Well, uh, not exactly, because uh, the last game against Bambari was uh, identical as this one. The tempo was still the same, a little bit before goal busted into activity in the second half. So I think maybe later on uh, we'll see a change. Oh, that's a, Enosh. Oh, that's a, that's a, a tackle from the eye from Enosh. <laughs> Enosh yeah, needs to be careful. He, huh? he had to foil that because uh, as a striker, the coaches will always tell them that you are the first line of defense. And I think that's exactly what he's doing. But they have now considered a free kick there. They have to defend it. Lawrence Juma into the box. It's cut out there by Ulinzi. Goes out for a goal kick. And that man there, Bernard Ongoma, gets it out. And the coach there, uh, Polak, who has been uh, named the goal, uh, there's a coach of the month by the journalists. Yeah, he's finding Ulinzi hard not to crack. Look at the numbers of Reds. They are, they are throwing a lot of numbers behind the ball. That is what is keeping them uh, in the game, Lindsay. They are defending in the numbers. Good cross into the Lindsay area, but it's da de dealt away by that man on Goma who finds Elvis. Elvis spreads it wide to Brian Biggin, who holds the ball really high up there looking for Oscar Wamalwa. 
Ashax seems to have uh, recovered. Ashax are uh, leading KCB 2-1. In a flash. <laughs> <laughs> and Zoya still leading FC Leopards. Sharks uh, have had a torrid time, but of course uh, they have taken the lead against uh, uh, KCB. Wazito are still locked, uh, deadlocked and at nil-nil. Another of those big teams that have really spent this season. A lot of money and I did kudos to Chemilil because uh, we all know the tribulations Chemilil is going through. So maybe standing 35 minutes into the game, nil-nil with Wazito, it's a plus for them. Harun Mwale there dropped that ball for a throw in for Gormaya. He's taken there by Odiek. Gormaya in the attack there. Oh, oh FC Leopards. <laughs> uh, if you are watching, and that's why we are saying that uh, you can follow us on uh, Twitter uh, at F Kenya Premier League. Uh, uh, that is, you can also follow us on this broadcast because we give you the updates. FC Leopards are equalized. That is the official, uh, that is the KPL official Twitter handle. That man there. Good move, good move, yes, man. So. But, uh, but uh, there. Ongoma is a tougher customer. <laughs> he doesn't let you pass easily, Ongoma. Yeah, and Very he resilient. feels that he played the ball. Very resilient in the midfield part, midfield part there. But he won the ball and lot of him from uh, his song. It's a free kick. They have to defend Ulinzi. Remember, they <laughs> killed themselves. The Kenya Defense Forces. Now, <laughs> this when it comes. <laughs> to, them, Tuskin, to them, defending is not an issue. That's their main priority. <laughs> Good cross into the box there. And uh, Ulinzi have to defend that. It's half uh, hoofed out of the danger area, but they haven't finish it yet that man there Elvis Nando unable to control that but then he is dispossessed Lawrence Juma gets into the goal area but uh, he's robbed of that ball he's asking why the referee is not blowing the whistle but uh, I think uh, that was a legal move there Gormaya back in position Tobias finds uh, Samuel Onyango, but we have, we've always known Samuel Onyango as a striker, but the kind of role he's uh, been yeah. deployed at Gurmaya in the last few matches. Actually, in the last season and this season, he has been paraded more as an offensive player, either to the wings, and I think that is as a result of uh, the kind of strikers that have, that have arrived in Gurmaya. That was a foul by again on Goma because he gave uh, Lawrence Juma a push from the back. Uh, hence losing position, so <laughs> rightly so. He should have uh, awarded Gormaya free kick. <laughs> that man there on Goma made sure that he disrupted the rhythm of Gormaya. <laughs> now, Gor in position, uh, that's Bernard on Diek with the ball, finds uh, Nyame, uh, Afriya, sorry, Afriya. finds Nyame there, uh, Samuel Nyango, who kind of is uh, having a free roll but uh, he's not yet delivering the kind of stuff you want from him. Yeah, he's normally changing from the left and to the right, more so, more so as, a, as an offensive player wide. Lindsay back into the attack. Elvis Nandwa there spread it wide to Enosh Ocheng, who lifts it really high up uh, to John Cargo. Cargo unable to find his uh, mark uh, open, uh, that is teammate. Gormaya is a bit scrappy there, but Gormaya deal away with that ball and uh, it uh, finds Francis Afria in the attack to Nyame. Goalkeeper comes out and uh, gets the ball. Nyame there feels that uh, he was uh, appended but he was crowded out of that. No foul. There was, no, no, foul there was no infringement there. Afria brought a long ball. Nyame went into the air. Second touch was not very good for him. Control it for but uh, there was no infringement as, as he claims to have been fouled. What impressed me was uh, the cross from Francis Afria, uh, pinpoint uh, Lindsay on the attack. And Ebo crowded out by Gormaya defenders. Josh Onyango gets it back to his goalkeeper, Bonfio Solwatch. Solwatch uh, spreads it to Charles Momani. Momani predictably to now. <laughs> Sharks have conceded now. They are 2 2 against uh, KCB. That must be a very interesting game. Four goals inside the first half uh, of this 12th round. Yeah, but here in Kisumu, we are yet to see a goal. Gorma here playing Olinzi Stars. Brian Bigan with the ball there finds Ongoma. 
Goma unable to deal with that. Uh, Nyame is late. Takes it back to Samuel Onyango. 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 To Tobias. Back to Onyango. Onyango doesn't have uh, good control of that ball, and that's why it's taking really a time to get it. But then he spreads it wide. He managed to do that. Now, a free air. Pardon me. That is uh, Odiek. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Gormai uh, having a, hard, a tough time in breaking into the, the attacking third of uh, Ulinzi. That was the try by Afi, but the touch was wrong. The touch was wrong. The goalkeeper came, Timothy came out in advance just to collect it nicely. Although Afi did step on Timothy slightly, there was no penalty there. Uh, of course, the players will always cry foul. But he did well. He was uh, given some VIP treatment there to make sure that he doesn't have a look at their goal. Now Gormaya back in position. Tobias the ball back to Josh. Josh back to Charles Momani. Momani to Lawrence Juma. Juma back to Momani. Gormaya being patient there. Fancy up front. Wasito have taken the lead as Gormaya are on the attack. That man there crosses the ball. The fans are loving it, but nothing troubling Ulinzi. Tobias. Spread it wide to the left, and uh, that ball goes out for a uh, goal, uh, goal kick. Uh, that man there, Francis Afriye, uh, with. Uh, it was a good ball from Ondieke uh, that released uh, Miheso, but uh, Miheso is a left footer, so he decided to take a shot with his right foot, which was not uh, with a lot of direction. That's a chance that uh, went begging again. Long ball again to the back of defense, but. Uh, I fear could not get in front of uh Yeah, well, what, what uh, Ulinzi are trying to do is uh, just to get their bodies in front of Gormaya players. And that's 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 what they're trying to do, because uh, Gora have a very patient uh, build-up, then the, then the, the last pass into space. So Ulinzi are just trying to throw bodies behind uh, the Gormaya players. They have now again gotten the third corner. Another corner, Gormaya have to defend there. 41 minutes uh, played, uh, well, exactly 42 minutes, uh, three minutes uh, to half time. Of course, uh, the referee will decide to add some uh, minutes. Well, that will be it. But Gore have to defend this uh, corner. He's taken there. Right, looking for Oscar Omalwa, who heads, but he's unable to get a meaningful pass out of it. That man there, Bernard Cheng. That is Tobias takes the ball out and throw in for Lindsay. It's bit scrappy there. He's lane. It's foul there. That was a late uh, charge on his uh, lane, Nyame. Uh, that man there, John Cargo, has had some talking to by the referee, Lucas Odiambo. Omani. Finds uh, Bernardo Diek. Diek uh, leaves it into the goal area there. To nobody in particular. Brian Brigan takes the ball out and uh, Ulinzi now on the, the attack. But the referee calls the ball back for an <laughs> offside. The first assistant referee, Adam Juma, uh, says Enosh had encroached. Gromaya come out on the attack. Tobias Sotieno, the man signed from uh, Sony Sugar, is coming to Gormaya and is a perfect fit in that uh, yeah, defensive midfield. Yeah, uh, the youngster is, is very is very good in winning back the balls, spreading passes, blocking passing lanes, and he has cemented his place in uh, Gormaya's team. <laughs> <laughs> he's swift, he's young. <laughs> yeah, that man there, Gislein Nyame Yikpe, the man from Ivory Coast, is uh, checked. And... Uh, unable to cross the ball into the box goal kick he's not yet found that space that uh, he really needs to, to explode and then create a goal coach uh, 44 minutes played just a minute under uh, and nothing really yeah they, 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 they to right home uh, they, in this first they, half they, the game has been a little bit uh, very cautious Gurma is growing cautiously and, uh, and Lindsay and uh, the creation of the chances to score have not been there Plenty. 
Now Ulinze are on the attack again there. Enosh, Enosh takes the ball wide. And a flick again more. Aaron, Aaron Griffiths across. What a touch from uh, Wamalwa. Oscar. He got a very good uh, cross from the flank. It was a good turn. And a layup again by Cargo Wide. Wale delivered a good cross, but Oscar Wamalwa didn't get a good interception, and hence the ball goes out for a goal kick by Gorma here. Gormaya start at the back there, good build-up from the back with the goalkeeper again. They have been very casual about the build-up. Very, very, very careful not to lose the balls. Their build-up. Joffrey plays the ball again now to Joash on the right-hand side. Joash lays it again for Ndiek. Ndiek back again to Joash. Good ball circulation to retain possession. Ball again is played forward now. A fear, a fear tries to be the player, but uh, back again to me. They're just keeping position. They switch it to the center to Lawrence to balance the side of play. Omani back again to Toby. Toby back again to the goalkeeper. Two minutes have been added to the initial 45 minutes. And we are in the first minute of the second. Uh, two minutes added. Good play by Lawrence, just, just laying. But they are playing a lot of square passes. Uh, Miheso. Miheso keeps it. There is a foul. There is a foul by Kagon Miheso. John Kago needs to be careful. There was a push from the back. Because Miheso had total possession of the ball. We are in the last minute, last 30 seconds of the extra two minutes. Delivery by Tobias, Tieno up front. Francis Afie, the back and turns. He lays it back to Ndiek. Ndiek again lays it back diagonally to Tobias again. Tobias looks up again. Long ball wide again. Francis Afie controls it. He's once, one again is to one. And he gets a, a corner ball at uh, the flick of halftime. <laughs> the corner won't be taken. The referee has blown his whistle for halftime. Both teams go for the recess. Gorma here having scored and Ulinzi having scored. We have a stalemate. Birgen has been instrumental. Lawrence giving some hints to Miheso. The way the movements. Gormahia zero and Ulinzi stars zero. Half time. If you think this is just a game, you're wrong. Prestige. The greatest show on earth. La Liga transcends society. La Liga is equality. Innovation. Responsibility. La Liga is the future. La Liga is so much more. It's a different way of seeing the world. live from uh, Moi Stadium here in Kisumu and it is Gormaya versus Ulinzi Stars. Uh, the scores are still nil-nil. Uh, what a game it has been. Very cagey, very you know, technical game, tactical and both sides have been sizing each other to ensure that they remain at parity after 45 minutes. It's been a very interesting one where both sides have created far fewer chances but all that because of good defending on both sides. And of course, again, wastefulness on either side, especially the, the strikers on uh, their beat. And uh, at this halftime, 
we have uh, the one of our analysts here who is coming here to tell us after 45 minutes what do you make of this end encounter uh, both teams are playing very cautious football because you can see the tempo is not so much high and everybody is uh, careful not to consider the first goal mm. why why would you not want to consider first goal or even go out there and attack uh, you know, Holly and get them your first goal. Remember, Ulinzi are the team that is chasing to win against Gorma here. So they are very cautious that uh, they have a slow build-up and at the moment they lose the ball, they throw more numbers behind the, 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 the ball. As a coach, of course, you'll be really happy that uh, both sides are trying to pass the ball and make sure that they open up each other. Yeah, I'm very happy to see the way the build-up has been done. Ulinzi has really changed. It's not the Ulinzi we used to have that used to hit the balls forward. Yes. They are playing now very good calculated football on the ground. Of course, uh, look at that back line. The goalkeeper, Timothy Otieno. Of course, he's getting one misha, but uh, the way he is playing is really composed. I think uh, I think he's been the standing point between at the moment uh, between the Gormaia and, uh, and and Ulinzi. He's playing very good at the goal, he, despite the one mistake that uh, could have occurred at the back there. But he's getting all the aerial balls. He's conducting in his defense nicely. Mm. What would you say about the back four of Ulinzi so far? Very cohesive, very cohesive indeed. They have blocked Gormaya. They are not getting any chances to go and score. You can see the two strikers of Gormaya, they have nowhere to run in the middle. They are always running out on the flanks. So that is very good combination from the back four of Ulinzi stars. We expected maybe Gormaya to be again all out on attack, but you've said that uh, they are also sizing uh, the other opponents. But we expected a lot from uh, Nyame Gisela in the top of the big guy. Yeah, we expected a lot of activity, but I can see, I can see, I can see again. Uh, Lawrence is a little bit too deep into the play. That's the activity up front for Gormaya is not very much as we anticipated it to be. Well, we are live from Moi Stadium, Kisumu. But of course, this is the 12th round of the Kenyan Premier League match. But there are so many other matches being played around the country. Uh, as you can see, Gormaya at halftime, they are nil-nil. There is also Kariobangi Sharks who are hosting KCB and they are 2-2. And Wazito are leading Chemili Sugar by a goal to nil. And Zoya Sugar have now again taken the lead or against FC Leopards at some point. They were 1-1. Now they have gone ahead. <laughs> what do you make of that? What is uh, catching your imagination from around oh, the country? Oh, Kariobangi Sharks and Zoya versus AFC. Oh, those are matches now to watch. Already there are four, more than three goals already scored. And that's the beauty of football. <laughs> beauty of football. That is four goals. Sharks are having a really difficult season. But now they are taking the lead. Now they are at level uh, uh, par going into that halftime. But let's talk about uh, Gormaya versus Ulinzi Stars. Of course, the coaches who are saying, well, they are coming off uh, not so good uh, result that they want. Of course, Gormaya beating Bandari. But now, how about here? We expected Gormaya to be leading. Yeah, they, they are trying, but uh, we, we are seeing the old teams. Are all teams are trying, but we can see they're, they're trying to create chances, but they've also been very good saves in the game. Mm. Of course, uh, goalkeeper Timothy Odhiambo has been named in the Arambe Star squad that is heading to Uganda for the Sekafa Senior Challenge. Look at uh, the way Omondi uh, Odhiambo has really come into this game. Actually, as we said initially, the, the, the long balls, the aerial balls for Gormaya would be a thorn in the flesh because of the size of uh, Afir. But the goalkeeper, to Tobias Odhiambo, has come out in style. He's been winning all tussles in the Air for that was a good save that uh, he presented. Interesting the way uh, Timothy Odhiambo has come into uh, Ulinzi Stars and really commanding that area. Look at that, he yeah. went in there, nah. the, uh, touch of that ball. The other thing that uh, is, uh, is, is to mention that all those aerial balls he comes out of the goal, he makes contact with them. Mm. That's very good goalkeeping. Because as a goalkeeper, you come out of your goal, you must contact the ball, mm. save it. Punch it away. Of course, the Gormaya striker there, Gisle Nyame, thinks that the ball should be a bit accurate so that he can finish it. <laughs> it should be, but his second touch really let him down there. Again, Timothy Otieno, Timothy Diambo was again in the right place at the right time, right anticipation to collect it away from his feet. Are you confident that uh, Ulinzi Stars are dealing with that kind of aerial threat so far? That one I'm very confident about because uh, the, the goalkeeper is, is the leader in dealing with those old threats that are aerial. So he has neutralized the threats that uh, Yeki could be offering aerially. Well, that is uh, Timothy Odhiambo. Of course, uh, Gislein Nyame feels that he should have been given a foul <laughs> on that, but he was really marked out of that uh, position. But now looking at uh, Ulinzi Stars up front, uh, we haven't seen much from uh, Oscar Wamalua. Yeah, there, there, there haven't been a lot of players up front. But, uh, but there have, have been a lot of beautiful football played by Ulinzi. As I said initially, it's a changed side. Long time ago, Ulinzi used to just hit the ball forward and follow. But this time around, they are playing very good 
beautiful builder passes mm. from the back through the central pitch, then to deliver the balls inside. Former striker of Wulinzi Stars, now he's uh, the technical director, that is Dan San Yaudo, <laughs> says that they have really put a lot of work into making the team to start playing. And I can it's see... It is amazing. Like, mm. It is amazing to see Wulinzi playing display football, one-touch football to the flank, a cross is being laid, only that the cross was being laid behind the striker who was running. But the build up to this cross was very, very, very much interesting and beautiful. To watch. Do, do you think it has weakened uh, Ulinzi to try to play that uh, passing football? Unlike maybe what they used to play, Route 1 football. No. Now they are trying to adapt to passing. Tosking, from my position as a coach, I think is an advantage because they still have something to fall back to. If this passing does not work to, they go back to what they are used to the long one route football. That was a very nice cross from uh, Brian Birgen and into a dangerous area there. Yeah. It wasn't headed into maybe on target. That what was, that was a cross by Cargo, but w w Wamalua just uh, flicked it over, over the bar. I think had he played it a little bit downwards, it would be a very different uh, story at the juncture. Is it because uh, the uh, two centre-backs from Gormaya, Momanyi and John Asha are really putting him under pressure? They are really putting him under great pressure. Now, 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 being a national team player today, he needs to, to take care of the two stoppers so that we can know his quality aerially. You talked about uh, players not, uh, you know, passing the ball accurately. And one of the players, uh, Afriya, he's got the chances, he's tried to, to pass those balls, but then uh, they are not on target. They are not on target. The last pass is not on target. Like Vam Yeso made a good turn, but they, he miscued the ball. Afriya tried to run to the ball, but again, he hit himself with the ball. I don't know what is happening in the attacking third of... Of, of, of Gorma here because the, that last pass is not clinical. Mm. That last pass is not coming. What is it all about? Is it uh, that the players maybe are lacking that concentration to get to that ball? Could be lack of concentration, but I think they're in a hurry to do it. They need to be more composed, more calm, and it will happen. Yeah, of course, uh, th that calmness is all that uh, the strikers will always want, you know, to have so that they can, you know, have that. Uh, that, that, that uh, accuracy on that uh, goal. But then let's look at the uh, halftime stats to see if it points to who is uh, controlling this game. <laughs> ball position, 53% for Gormaya, as well as 47 for Ulinzi Stars. Shots on goal, 5 for Gore and 4 for, for uh, Ulinzi Stars, but on target. We can see Gore has had three uh, as opposed to one of Ulinzi Stars. Automatically, Gore is trying to utilize the possession that they have in terms of numbers. You can see they have, uh, they have three, two corner goals against maybe three corners of Ulinzi. But Gore is more offensive at the moment. It's only that maybe they have not scored a goal. No team has been caught offside. So all players are playing good football. Because if your strikers are staying onside, then it's also helping the team to be more advantageous but we need in attacking. Goals. We need goals. Football is about goals. Yes. And I'm very sure maybe in the second half we need to see some sparkling, somebody opening up and uh, going to score. I, I talked about the pitch at some point. Is it that uh, the ball is bouncing irregularly on this pitch? No, it's not irregular. I think uh, it is good fit. Gourmet has been working on it. They have been training on top. I think the team that should be this, uh, at disadvantage is Olinzi because they have not mm. been training on an artificial pitch. Let's, let's look forward to the second half. Uh, what, what can we make out of this? Gormaya have got uh, Nicolas Kipkirui. They have, uh, uh, they have got who else on that uh, bench? They have, they have uh, Arsenal's outside. They have Bonfas Omondi. They have uh, Dixon, uh, Dixon Ambundo. Ambundo. They have Nicolas Kipkirui. He has an Arsenal to bring in. Who, and, uh, who do you think the coach, coach should bring in? I think he will concentrate about the forward. Nicolas Kirui, Ambundo and Bonfas, those are likely to be engaged in this game because it's about going forward and it's about getting that goal. Between the, uh, the strikers, that is uh, Yikpe and Francis, I think who, who is not doing his work? As a coach, I can't say he's not doing his work. As, as a coach, I think he goes first to make the corrections, advise the midfielders on how to feed these strikers, how they should run, then give them the chance to play a little bit, then now makes the decision. What about Ulinzi? Ulinzi, Ulinzi, they have Jackton, Ezekiel Okere, John Jaguna, Mark Bikoka, he's back again, Bonfess. I think Ulinzi would work with Mark Bikoka and uh, Okere. Okere should be coming into, into the game. Well, that is, uh, that is the two uh, benches, Gormaya, as well as the Ulinzi stars. We are waiting for the second half. And uh, one of uh, my analysts is saying that at least at some point they need to make those changes. But you can see Gormaya fans there, they are really happy knowing that, well, their team is on top. They know they are on top of the league. They've only lost once. And uh, this is a fortress. That is Moi Stadium Kisumu. No team comes here and takes a point. But of course, we know that Ulinzi have done that in the past. They have pinch a point from Gormaya. I don't know if that is going to happen now, but we have to wait for the second half to see what will happen. And still, the second half begins. 
we are still on nil nil. If you think this is just a game, you're wrong. Prestige, the greatest show on earth. La Liga transcends society. La Liga is equality. Innovation. Responsibility. La Liga is the future. La Liga is so much more. It's a different way of seeing the world. Uh, welcome back to Kisumu Stadium. Gorma here facing Ulinzi Stars for the second half. Uh, it is zero for Gorma here and Ulinzi Stars. Both teams have not uh, scored a goal in the first half. And we are preparing to see what happens in the second half. We can see the fans who've come up in numbers to cheer up uh, their team. Gorma here fans who are always the 12th player. They are busy chanting and uh, praising and singing, anticipating for a win from their, their side. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, another young fan. I don't the know if it's a young, a young gun or a young Gurmaya <laughs> fan, but uh, that is it. The fans are trying to follow up also events uh, unfolding across the country, I want to believe, because the Kenya Premier matches are being played in Mumias. There are also matches in Nairobi. We've seen uh, Karyobangi Sharks still locked at 2-2 uh, with the KCB. Yeah, we talked about them uh, being... Uh, really having a difficult season, but you can see those uh, Gormaya fans here, I don't know, they are applauding each other, they know their team is really playing well, but they need a goal today to celebrate. It's true, they, they, they need a goal to crown it all, and I only believe and I wish that all teams in Kenya could have a follow-up uh, like Gormaya, then football will be <laughs> something different in our nation. Uh, that is it, and you can see those fans, they are catching the action, they are enjoying from every vantage point uh, they can afford, because... Uh, you cannot afford to miss a Gormaya game. There's a lot of events. Look at those fans. They are happy there. I don't know whose mask that is. <laughs> but I want to believe that uh, that's one of the legends. Uh, that man there, Gislein Nyame, the lead striker for Gormaya. They are playing 4-5-1 with Nyame at the top of uh, the attack there. And, uh, look at, he's enjoying <laughs> cuddling his uh, enjoying. dreadlocks. Enjoying. Lawrence Juma there with Bonfistle watch, having a, a chit chat. If you think this is just a game, you're wrong. Prestige, the greatest show on earth. La Liga transcends society. La Liga is equality. Innovation. Responsibility. La Liga is the future. La Liga is so much more. It's a different way of seeing the world. Welcome back to Moy's Stadium here in Kisumu, where Gormaya are taking on Ulinzi Stars in the 12th round of the Kenyan Premier League. The scores are still nil-nil. And remember, this is uh, a top-of-the-table clash, uh, according to the statistics that we have now. Ulinzi are on 20 points. Uh, Gormaya are on 24, having won eight matches, only lost one. And today we are seeing both sides really cagey, sizing each, uh, each other up first half and uh, we'd like to see how that will pan out in the second half. Uh, what should we expect, uh, coach? I think the, the second half is, uh, is, is, is what normally we call uh, the sleep well half. 
we need to get a goal. We need to get a performance in the in the second half. Uh, considering again that uh, Ulinzi have always earned a point from this ground, Gormaya need to take action to them. And uh, Ulinzi have uh, got us underway in the second half. Now kicking the ball from uh, the right side of your screen to the left. Uh, Gormaya in their traditional all green on colours. You can follow us on social media. We are there. And the commentary booth. I'm Robin Toskin with Yusuf Chipo, formerly coach of Ulinzi Stars. He won two titles. And in Kiswahili commentary, we have Ali Salimanga and Ali Hassan Kauleni. Uh, yellow first, the yellow card goes to Bernard Ngoma of Ulinzi. The hard man, his hard as nails, was in there. And oh, then, uh, his boots. It was a late tackle. It was a late tackle. Uh, did he tackle the, the pants the or he tackled the I knees? I think he touched it. He, he got Toby as a <laughs> Toby as a knee, but uh, Tobias is a strong young lad. Uh, He's already up and back uh, in action. Got my on the attack there. Second half uh, just uh, kicked off here in Moss Stadium, Kisumu. He's on the attack, long pass over the top there, and Charles Mamani heads it out. A free air. Tries to find uh, Lawrence, but he can't get to the ball. Back to Ulinzi. Elvis Nando there misses. Back to John Cargo. Tries to. Those passes are not getting to their intended targets. Uh, what could it be? Could it be? Coach, uh, is it being done hurriedly or? Yeah, at times it uh, it's hurried uh, execution of the pass. Oh, sometimes made the plays uh, very much uh, in an eager to let the ball go. But to Lindsay, I think uh, they have a little bit changed uh, the format they want to play because I consider they have decided to push uh, Denos onto the left hand side. Elvis now becomes a twin striker with Wamaloa, and Raweru takes the wide position. I think maybe this will bring dividends to them. But again, on Gormaya's side, I think uh, we need to see Lawrence uh, Juma at least uh, more offensive, more closer to a fear up front. He's been uh, deployed as a more of a defensive midfielder, but do you think with the absence of Kenneth Muguna, he needs to really push up front? It's true, he needs to push up front, because we saw, we saw him in the second half against uh, Bandari. He did a lot of damage when he stepped up. And I think uh, he needs to, 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 to play a little bit forward. Despite that he's a box-to-box -box, uh, midfielder, he has no problem about uh, the transitions. Josh spreads it wide to Geoffrey Ocean, who picks Mie uh, Mieso. Mieso to Tobias, uh, finds a, a free, uh, the, uh, the, uh, that man Jermaine there, but he can't control the ball. Back to Josh. Well, we have uh, some stoppage there. Ulinzi player went down from that challenge. That is uh, Daniel Waweru. The referee has stopped playing to have him attended to. <laughs> it's a very tough match here at Tuski. Remembering the history of these games. Gormaya versus Ulinzi here in, in Kisumu, they have always been chaos. <laughs> 2017, the game erupted into, into a fight after Waruru equalized uh, at the end minute. And the, the fans who uh, did not take it uh, kindly <laughs> yeah, that He provoked Waruru. them with a certain sign. <laughs> How would you say that, Bruno? Because uh, I thought he was uh, just celebrating, no. having got yeah, that the equalizer. Gesture. The gesture that he did was uh, was, was not allowed in, uh, in African society. <laughs> yeah, in African society. <laughs> but of course, uh, there has never been love lost between Gormaya and military sides, uh, right <laughs> even uh, the beginning of the 80s. That was a good Waweru, intervention. Waweru, Waweru did stretch. He was not tackled. He just had a stretch that I think uh, he yeah. pulled up his muscle by doing so. I hope uh, all will be well. And that has uh, that is uh, sportsmanship. Uh, Vantage Gore, goalkeeper Odiambo made, made sure that he passed it to Gormaya players. Now Ulinzi back to the attack. Waweru is back on the pitch. Ulinzi, that man there, Bonaventure Uchika, who 
across the cross field and uh, back to Enos, Enos Ocheng and decided but now spread it wide and good cross from Benjamin uh, Brian uh, Birgen that is good chance cargo cargo with the ball poor pass from uh, Harun Mwale gives Gormaya the ball now East Lane the attack on the right uh, flank passes back to Francis Afriye Afriye to Lawrence Juma shuffles his feet comes away spreads it uh, to the left flank where he finds Geoffrey Ocheng Ocheng with one man to beat there comes out uh, really well dribbles past the defense back to Nyame Nyame wants to pull the trigger but he's been uh, really shielded from having a look at that goal and that uh, Ulinzi defense is really doing quite well there but Loris Juma is up there where coach you wanted him to be <laughs> and, uh, it's more offensive now you can see Gora engaging so much uh, in forward play the introduction of uh, Loris Juma up from now he, he has the ability to, to retain the ball in front of the defense for, for Yayame and, uh, and uh, Afira to utilize Joffrey Ocheng with a throw in for Gormaya. Takes a long one into the goal area. It's headed over by Ongoma. The goalkeeper comes out, holds it, and uh, he starts a quick one. Gets uh, Elvis Nandwa. Nandwa is unable to go past the Gormaya markers. Ocheng wide to Tobias Sotieno. Sotieno back to Josiah. Jo uh, that's Joash, sorry. <laughs> Was it to have come on stage? Was it all? They are, they are, <laughs> they are humiliating. They're now guns blazing. <laughs> Was it all? They have taken a 3 0 lead over Chemelil, one of the embattled side in the Kenya Premier League. But uh, they will take it. It's 52 minutes here at Moi Stadium, Kisumu. Gormaya taking on Ulinzi. Bernard on the right side of the pitch, you can see. Finds uh, Nyame. Nyame dispossessed. A free kick there. The referee penalizes uh, Gislein Nyame Yikpe for, I think, a uh, high boot. Yeah, he did a gesture here. The ball went into the air. And he had the intentions of uh, handling it. He went with his arms uh, all out. Dangerous play. Have uh, Timothy Otieno or uh, Diambo to start the ball. He starts with uh, Bonfincha Uchika, who lays it wide. Ongoma finds Birgen. Birgen hoists it really high up there, looking for Elvis. Elvis with the ball, he spreads it wide. Elvis again, back in the middle. Scores there, but then it's uh, cut out by Charles Momani. Miheso now. Miheso on the attack. Gormaya pinning Ulinzi stars in the back foot. Good cross there. Goalkeeper <laughs> comes out, picks, uh, plucks that ball from the air after a nice cross that's from. A, that was a good drive by, by Miheso. He laid a free, but the free's delivery was just too close and comfortable for Timothy Onyango to collect from there and start a, a counter attack. He needed to cut it back, a little bit back. Yeah, the angle should have been a little bit deeper from the goalkeeper. It would have been better for his fellow uh, striker. Now, Ocheng. Ocheng gets a return pass, but he can't get to the end of that uh, pass. Lawrence Juma tries to bulldoze his way through, but he's uh, taken down. Goma finds uh, Elvis, but he's not able to get to that ball. Elvis chases the ball down. Gormaya now on the attack. Good cross into the Ulinzi goal area. It's headed out. Miheso tries to find Francis Afria. Afria chases the ball and the referee go, leaves the ball go. to go on. And uh, that man there unable to keep the ball in play. But that is uh, Harun Mwale. Should have done better there. Couldn't control the ball. Tobias finds Samuel Onyango. Yango beats his man, feeds uh, Miheso. Miheso is uh, tightly marked and he spreads the ball wide to Geoffrey Ochen. Ochen looks back. Bennett! 
by us. Uh, back to Onyango. Onyango finds uh, Ondiek. Ondiek finds, uh, try to find uh, someone Onyango, but then that pass is, uh, is way hard because uh, kind of uh, Samuel Ochin was not anticipating, and that's why the coach yeah. is not happy <laughs> with that. Because yeah, that yeah. was a good chance. It was a good chance, to despite, uh, to, despite uh, Gorbaya changing their style of play. Because at the moment, you can see Samuel Onyango and Miesu are all part of the midfield. And the two fullbacks now are engaging more in, in attack. And the last pass is still not, uh, not uh, good enough for uh, the strikers. How, how do you get your last pass you know, to start working for you as a coach? Now, that's what is a quiet mind to work because you've done it in training, <laughs> it's happening. But on the day of the game, the last pass does not go to the strikers. All you, all you wish is just uh, they can lay one right pass and we get one right execution. <laughs> that is Charles Momani there, the ball trying uh, to squam right under his feet, but he gets uh, back to his uh, footing. Normally, normally Toskin football as a coach, uh, you, you work so hard on how to bring the ball from the back up to the third uh, attacking third. And uh, the last attacking third now is the intelligence and the uh, prowess of the individual players to execute it. Tobias finds him, uh, Nyame who tried to shoot, but then uh, he didn't have a clean touch of that ball and the goalkeeper, Timothy Odiambo, uh, goes down, collects it uh, comfortably. It was a good touch from, from Nyame, but he was so much in a hurry, he didn't get uh, the, the, his right footing, didn't get the right power behind the ball. Hence, uh, Timothy collects it uh, for, for a quick restart. But of course, uh, Ulinzi will have to watch out on that because uh, this is a predator they are dealing with. It's a very, very dangerous predator. And uh, because, uh, as we look at for the last five minutes, Ulinzi seems to be pinned in their own half. But Maya seems not to be coming gradually and gradually into these attacking uh, positions. Elvis Nandua with the ball now, right uh, down the right flank, finds Brian Began. Began uh, gives him a return pass. Nandua. It's pretty wide, but then uh, poor communication again. And we, I don't know what the coaches now have to say about this because uh, it's unsightly. They are missing good opportunities to attack. Now yeah, we might have to start that uh, goal. Kick. There's a lot of indecisiveness in front of the goal for Molinzi. Tobias with a long punt there to Samuel Onyango, who's the first touch again, lets him down, and goalkeeper. Timothy Odiambo comes out, confidently gathers that ball, and that man there, Samuel Odiambo. He, he received a very, very good ball from Tobias in the central part. A, a ball that bit the defenders, just the back of the defense. He should have clipped it into the goal, because the goalkeeper was already out. So he decided maybe to control it again. I don't know why. He should have just played the first touch uh, as an execution pass. He could have scored. Well, Gurmaya back to position with that ball, uh, Josh back uh, to the goalkeeper Boniface. Now you can see the coach is talking to Boniface <laughs> Omondi there, the speedy winger. Is he about to make a substitution? He will for sure, he will for sure. And I think either either of the two has to come out, either Miheso or uh, Afire on the right hand side because uh, uh, Boniface uh, Omondi is a typical uh, right on side player. <laughs> the, the, the fans are happy there. I don't know if uh, they are aware of a uh, substitution that is coming up. And uh, the, the coach there, if he's bringing in, because we know Bonfas uh, is a wide player, play is uh, the wing, is, is the coach thinking, well, they are not utilizing their wings uh, really well? I think the last pass from the right hand side, the delivery is, is what is perturbing the coach. Because uh, when you are playing with five midfielders, you must be very offensive on the flanks. One flank is being managed by now with Esson Isley. Now the right hand flank is, uh, is a problematic. And I think that's what he wants to, to rectify. Esson. Back to Tobias. Lawrence Juma finds uh, Samuel Onyango, return pass there, but uh, it's uh, dealt with. Ulinzi calmly get the ball out of uh, the danger area. <laughs> that is a late call. The referee there. I think Lucas was thinking again twice or thrice because <laughs> I don't, I, di I didn't see, it. I didn't see a foul on Enosh. Uh, substitution now is uh, pulling out. Uh, it's bringing on uh, in uh, Boniface Omondi, the winger, and the big man from Ivory Coast, Gislaine <laughs> Nyame, has not had a good afternoon. He goes out. Uh, I think it's a tactical substitution. 
Because I think all of a sudden, I think Samuel Onyango now becomes the, 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 the central striker. Orafile becomes the central striker. Samuel Onyango remains wide. Or he becomes a twin striker with him. Mulinzi on the attack. They win a corner. And now that man there, Elvis Nandua, is about to beat his man, but uh, he wins or earns a corner for Mulinzi Stars. Two, four corners. The old game for Ulinzi Stars uh, opposed to, to for Gormaya. That man there, Enosho Cheng, has to be given some strict marking there from uh, Berlin Wall. <laughs> Corner from Boniface Maweru is headed out by Momani. Gormaya now launched the attack. Lorenz Juma finds uh, Miheso. Let tackle on uh, Lawrence Juma by Boniface uh, Andai. That's uh, Oscar. Pardon? Yeah, that is Oscar. Uh, yeah, he tracked back. He tracked back. He was uh, coming to defend, uh, <laughs> doing his solitary duty of defense. And uh, he decided to push it all, uh, Juma because Juma was already in a high dribble. He was running away from him. Yes, and so he uh, took one for the team. You always want your strikers to also help in defensive duties. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Free kick for Gormaya. Tobias uh, spread his wide, trying to look for Benfest. But then uh, Mwale dummies that and leaves the ball go out for goal kick. Harun. Another substitution here. for this time round for Ulinzi Stars and they are pulling out uh, Elvis Nandwa in favor of uh, John Juguna. What do you make of that substitution? Very tactical. John Juguna is, a, is an offensive player to the left. I think they're adding uh, power to the left as uh, they push Enosh now to become uh, a second striker behind uh, Wamalua. Initially Enosh was playing more, more to the left hand side as an offensive winger to the left. Juguna, a very, very typical left footer. He adds a lot of uh, width and proneness to the left-hand side. Gormaya will also need to, to counter that and uh, see what happens. Uh. Timothy Odiambo starts that ball for that goal kick uh, to the center of the field. Goma. Goma back and the ball breaks back to Ogoma. Finds uh, Oweru. Oweru spreads wide and uh, here comes uh, Birgen. Ball is uh, kicked out for a throw in for, uh, for Ulinzi Stars. That is Geoffrey Ocheng considering that throw in. Brian Birgen, that throw in. Ulins into the danger area. Good shot there. What a shot uh, from that man there. The goalkeeper quickly goes down. That's the, the sub, uh, the yeah, new sub. He, he, John, you're gonna, he received a very good ball from Aweru, and he had a lot of space. We might need to close down on him, but uh, Bonfaz was uh, up to it. First clean shot we are seeing from uh, Ulinzi starts uh, forward line, the new man who's just replaced uh, Elvis Nandua with a left to shoot, uh, le le left to shoot, uh, left to strike there. The goalkeeper FC Leopards uh, from those updates <laughs> have uh, gone level again with Nzoya. Four goals, and KCB have pulled away from Sharks with four goals to two. I think. Uh, was it still uh, holding a 3 0 lead over Chemenil? Things are not good. They are falling apart for. Six goals in one match. That's the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> and that man there, Steve Pollack, wants uh, a share of the goals here. Stands there. Yeah, too true. It's yeah. the only match across the country that's uh, yet scoreless. But you would expect top uh, of the table clash, of course, uh, Ulinzi. Yeah, it's, it is tight. It is very tight for the game. The teams uh, have not been conceding many goals. Both teams have conceded five goals up to today. 
So it's very tight defensively. On the uh, offensively, Gormayev seems to have an edge. But uh, Ulinzi being who they are, is a lot. That was a foul by by, by, by Geoffrey Ocheng on, uh, on, on Enosh. It was a push in the, in the air, awarding a uh, free kick to Ulinzi Stairs. The referee here has to call back uh, Lawrence Juma because of uh, the <laughs> nine meter rule or 10 yard rule. Juma is aware of what wants to happen. He knows. Free kick uh, over the bar from uh, Waweru Daniel. I think that is a wasted opportunity. He needed, he needed to be more organized, more professional. I thought Ongoma was going to strike it because he's a hard hitter. Cut out there for a throw in. Just quickly, uh, uh, coach, uh, because uh, in modern day football, free kicks are a very important uh, aspect of the game and you have to make use of side free kicks. Very true, Toskin. I think in Kenya we are not concentrating on that. As a coach, we need to take care of those free kicks because those are half goals. We saw, we saw maybe latest in the La Liga, Messi scoring two goals identical for now. Another substitution here for Willinzi Stars and John Cargo makes way for Bonfaso Onyango. Very seasoned midfielder. Two substitutions now from Ulinzi Stars. And uh, a long throw there for Gormaya. Good chance there in the attack. Uh, pandemonium there. <laughs> what a chance there for Gormaya. And that man there, Clifton Miheso, knows that he should have been done better. But then it uh, happened so quickly. It was a, it was a long throw. From, uh, a very good flick that was happened. But Miheso controlled it. Uh, what, he should have hit it the first time. He had a control. I don't know what was he controlling it for. Poor uh, communication again from uh, he should have, uh, that to the defense. Very poor coaching from the goalkeeper again. That is what maybe might end at the end of the day cost them. Miheso should have uh, done a low volley to secure it. Another throw in and, there and the goalkeeper comes out, uh, parries it, and uh, the second attempt he gathers the ball. Very good throw, again flaked, but this time the goalkeeper Timothy had his first hands on it. He was the first player to contact the ball. He kept his eyes on the ball right away after even uh, losing uh, control of that ball. Yeah, he has good management of aerial balls. That's one thing I love about him. Very good management of uh, crosses, aerial balls. All he needs to improve is his coaching of his back four. Waweru, spread it to Arun Mwale, Mwale to Ngoma, Ngoma back to Waweru, with a fine one touch there, and Ulinzi are coming out there in attack, a good backing there from Tukuna, but uh, Gormaya deals with that danger, and now comes uh, Samuel Onyango, Onyango loses uh, concentration, and the ball is picked out there, Tukuna with the ball now, the new substitute, and he falls over that ball, on Ondiek, uh, get the ball away from danger. Geoffrey Ochen with a crossfield show pass, which is then away. The challenge on uh, Bernard Ongoma there from Geoffrey Ochen, who earns a yellow card for his troubles there. Smiling there, he knows uh, <laughs> he went in hard on uh, Bernard Ongoma. He knew what he was doing, but it was dangerous play because uh, he had a headbutt at the back. Yeah, look, but he didn't really aim at uh, getting the ball. to their ball. But he wasn't going for the ball. He was just cutting out the move of Angoma. A studious uh, coach I there. I think he, he has already sensed just from the, the initial move that took place what um, Joguna John has just brought to the team of Olinzi. Exactly. There's a lot of flow, there's a lot of movement, a lot of one touch football now from Olinzi Stairs. That was, uh, that was very good. Goma. Clearance. Juma took the ball. What a dribble. What an acceleration. But look at Wamalua, good recovery. And the hands uh, <laughs> decided to pull him out. You rightly talked about uh, Lawrence Juma, the need to have uh, at a go, a, a go at and then Gormaya have made a substitution. Samuel Onyango withdrawn in favor of Kennedy Otieno. The bulky forward. From Gormaya, well built. Gormaya come away, another attack, uh, Geoffrey Ocheng finds the Lawrence Juma in the middle of the park there. Juma spread it wide to Professor Monde who skips over Harun Mwale. <laughs> Foul there from Bernard Ongoma. <laughs> he has to, he he has picks, to compliment. He uh, picks out uh, Lawrence Juma and you can see. Yeah, Lawrence is becoming yeah. now a little bit more industrious up front. Yeah. I think he's been released as we were saying after him there because he's becoming more offensive in the offensive uh, Defensive half of Gormaya. He's more forward a little bit. Late tackle there from uh, Goma. 
goal by a half to start it from a free kick there. The referee pulls the ball back and uh, Lawrence Juma, the man who was fouled, has to take it. Lawrence is high and the goalkeeper is comfortably you know, coming out and uh, picks that ball. I think by, by now Gormai should be aware that uh, the proneness of uh, Timothy Odiambo aerially, they should be playing balls directly in the air towards the goalkeeper. Juma, uh, that is Juguna, a skillful guy. He's appended there. He's fouled by Lawrence Juma. They have to start again from a free kick. Harun Mwali back uh, to Bonifas Muchika, who finds Andai. Andai spread it out there to Brigen. Brigen flies in, comes in, wheels away, spreads it wide to Daniel. The ball, Daniel Beckons really went out because it was touched by a Gormaya player. They're trying, and that is the chairman of Gormaya. I think he's just made his way to the stadium, or he, he was there. That is, uh, they call him Ador Ambrose. Uh, he's, sharing, he's sharing a point because uh, <laughs> I think he's telling him, I can see Ulinzi are very rejuvenated in this half, but it's not happening to my team. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eminent lawyer. He's <laughs> uh, a senior counsel, they call him. Very experienced man, matters law. Now, he's long, been at Gormaya for 11 years. Long ball, long chairman. ball for Afire. Cool. Afire just, uh, and I just protected the ball, shielded it away from from Francis uh, just to earn a goal kick. High ball into the Gormaya goal area. The goalkeeper comes out, Bonfils on watch. Got to really repeat that ball. Oscar Omal was uh, under check, allowing the goalkeeper to come out. Now, Gormaya in the attack. The new man, Kennedy Otieno with the ball. Wants it uh, to himself. Francis Afriye came from an offside position. Yeah. And that's why Kennedy Otino was uh, calling out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He wanted uh, to continue with that run. He was preparing himself. We know him to be a very strong left hard hitter. I think uh, he was telling uh, Francis Levy to get out of the way because he would have struck a very hard shot to the goal. It's important it to again. really communicate. It is, it is. He was now laying the ball to his side. I feel he was in an offside position. He was taking advantage. Clearly. Nice touch from Juguna there to find. Uh, Goma, good cross, uh, squams under the minute in the sh good shot there from uh, Ulinzi, but uh, Zorozi always going wide. That man there, Daniel Waweru. What a chance for Ulinzi to do something because uh, the ball uh, gets uh, through the feet of Momani, feet of Momani but they, Ulinzi couldn't punish Gormaya. Waweru is very instrumental in Ulinzi. He has already scored three goals to his credit. Birgen ball back again to bring in who lays it back to Roma. Wide ball from uh, Mwale to Juguna. Skillful guy. Steps over. Bernard Ondiek there. Good cross. Uh, the ball gets to Daniel Mweru. Nice shot. Uh, goes out for a corner. <laughs> Very good build up from uh, Ulinzi Stairs. We should, we should be seeing more of this. Very good display by John Juguna. Very composed. He took out on the delivered a very good cross. And uh, they should be aware of that Wawero. Wawero has already scored thrice for <laughs> Lindsay. He's the main man in terms of scoring. And he had a chance. He should have struck it better. But it was well, interesting. Well, Gormaya did well, of course, to, for defending to a corner ball. To defend that, yeah. Fifth corner for Lindsay. For Lindsay into the dangerous area there and the goalkeeper comes out to get the ball and uh, the goalkeeper lashes out at uh, the Ulinzi man. It's a good cross, good collection by Bonface. Get the ball. But what happens after that is very bad. It's as if he, he, he threw a, a, a jab to him. <laughs> but Bonface, Ngoma, Bonface should be very careful. He should, he, he should. should because he needs to check his temperament. It would have been a red card straight. That luckily, was a blow he threw. Uh, luckily, the referee uh, uh, had uh, already whistled uh, for a foul. That is why he couldn't uh, reprimand the goalkeeper. Miheso. Miheso, the ball finds uh, Bernard Ondiek. Ondiek to Tobias Otieno. Otieno drives forward. Gives the ball to Kennedy Otieno, who lays 
the middle of the pack there to Norris Juma finds uh, Boniface Komondi unable to get it and now comes Josh Enosh H. Ocheng the danger man there gets to John Juguna Juguna the skillful guy is trying to pass it into the box there well, uh, Gormaya defense is alert to the danger Kick it away well, foul there the referee says Kagogo was late uh, Kagogo was late in, in, in playing the ball the corner ball was a very good delivery good collection and uh, Bonfa seems to to, to, to to be throwing a blow a punch to Ongoma is unhappy that uh, Ongoma kind of good stood on his way and good collection. Uh, collected the ball really well and he was charged at by Ongoma he threw a blow Hashes but it, it, did, it didn't land on Ongoma <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy it was a good in singing uh, corner from Mulinzi yeah, he gathered the ball with the experience now, now for another, experience. another substitution here coach Oscar Amalwa making way for Ezekiel Okare yeah, the two a... front men have really been quiet <laughs> for Ulinzi stars now uh, Okare comes I think Okare yeah. brings a different uh, notch of a style of striking formerly from so, uh, South America he is he's more of a striker who likes engaging in play free kick there goalkeeper gathers that ball easy does it from Ongoma lacked the firepower, it lacked the, the kind of force that uh, could trouble a goalkeeper. Now Gormaya to the attack, Lawrence Duma finds uh, Kennedy, but that ball uh, ricochet off uh, the Ulinzi players. Uh, Brigian uh, finds Enosh Ocheng, Ocheng lost the ball high, but then uh, Gormaya alert the danger there, Kennedy Otieno, Otieno finds uh, Tobias, Tobias, finds uh, Boniface, uh, that is uh, Miheso, Miheso with the ball now into the danger area, shoots, uh, the ball <laughs> is blocked, uh, goes out uh, for a corner. Yes, uh, Miheso did a very good drive, he received the ball, it was a long delivery, but Boniface collected it nicely. Yeah, but if they have to trouble Boniface, they have to hit it hard, a little bit hard. They need and a little far bit. away from the goalkeeper. They need a lot of power. Five corner balls for Lindsay Stars, three corner balls for Gorma here. Gor, Boniface uh, Omondi, high ball, trying to look for Francis Afrie. That ball is headed out for a throw in. That man there, Francis Afrie, the Ghanaian, was lacking just on the blind, uh, blind side. But the coach, uh, Steve Pollack, is not happy with the proceedings here. Though he has tried to be as calm as possible. <laughs> He's used to having Gormaya leading at this time. <laughs> but they are not having their way because the 12 minutes to go and the scoreline remains uh, nil for Gormaya and nil for Ulinzi Stars. It's a uh, top of the table clash, uh, three pointer here. If Gormaya wins, then it'll be trouble for the chasing pack. Another throw in, long ball into the area and the goalkeeper anticipated with right. Well, Timothy Odiambo comes in there, but. Uh, a uh, quick uh, yellow card, cynical challenge on Timothy Odiambo there. Francis Afrie goes into the book of referee Lucas Odiambo because he actually foiled an attempt, an attack from uh, Ulinzi Stars. The goalkeeper wanted a he, fast attack and then he, he, he uh, interfered very, with He's it. a very good wrist starter. That's one of his qualities. And he read, he read the ball nicely, collected quickly, and he wanted to deliver that long ball to ensure that uh, Ulinzi <laughs> has that counter attack. But I feel, I feel he was intelligent enough. He knew the, exactly what was uh, Timothy's intention. Gormaya. So he took one for the team. Gormaya with another substitution. Uh, Miheso has to make way for Dixon Ambundo. Yeah, and Dixon Ambundo comes in. Again, even in the last game, Dixon Ambundo came in for Miheso, but it was for a shorter time. Today, I think he plays a longer time, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, and he's a very electrifying player to watch on the left-hand side of attack. This game uh, urgently needs a goal, maybe to lift uh, the spirits of Gurmaya. Have to start it at the back there, comfortably, calmly. From uh, goalkeeper all watch and start that attack. Kennedy Otieno with the ball in the middle of the pack there. Comes out uh, cleanly, finds uh, Lawrence Juma. 
Lawrence Juma crowded out, but then they gave the ball to Bonfess Omondi, who spreads it wide to Ambund and Dixon there. And uh, the fans are not happy. Yeah, he needs, but, to, uh, he needs to stay on side. He needs to be intelligent enough to stay on side <laughs> to assist his team in attacking. Uh, you know, the, the quality, fans, the the quality of a striker. They don't understand They it. don't understand <laughs> this kind of thing. He was offside. He's already offside. Yeah. The, the, the quality of a striker or an offensive player is to play onside. Yes. So that uh, the attack can be fruitful. But once you are being caught many offsides, and then it is, uh, it is uh, just logical that the strikers need to be more educated about how they should stay. <laughs> Was it a pulls clear? Wills away four goals uh, to nil against uh, Chemelil. Chemelil in trouble there. Gormaya on the attack there. Francis Afrié loses the ball. Picked there by uh, Harun. <laughs> Harun Mwale. Shucks, Shucks is in turmoil. I've been hitting five goals. <laughs> <laughs> five goals, five against two. On the egg. Out there for a throw in. Shucks are in turmoil, you say? Five goals conceived. Oh, there's a problem in Shucks. Well, there's a problem in Shucks. They'll go down the, the relegation zone. Remember, <laughs> the Kenya Premier League is unforgiving. You've got to take your chances. Indeed. Wazito has registered Wazito, the fifth goal. Again. Fifth goal. The goals are raining elsewhere except for <laughs> Kisumu City. Gormaya nil, Ulinzi starts nil with nine minutes to go, of course, plus the added time. And Ulinzi come off uh, to attack their poor pass from this man, Okare Ezekiel. Because uh, he miscues his cross, uh, goes uh, to the goalkeeper Bonfest. Gormaya, the attack now. Bonifacio on watch, Omondi, sorry. He's been quiet. Very quiet indeed, Toskin. Ulinzi have not opened up for Gorma here. Ulinzi are very cautious in how they play without the ball, because at any moment, they have bigger numbers behind the, behind the, behind the ball. And I think uh, they, are, they are working a strategy towards uh, getting uh, their fourth draw from Gorma here, from Kisumu again. The fans are following uh, this broadcast uh, from around the country and uh, one uh, big fan of Gormaya called Kasuja saying he expected Gormaya to come out guns blessing at the second half but we haven't seen that. That's what I thought as a champion and uh, playing at home I think uh, I would have taken the risk at least to, uh, to throw more power up front and to see if uh, we could get a goal being Gormaya but again uh, that's not to be seen eight minutes to go we're heading to a stalemate it's a shame that uh, all but this top of the table clash has no goal, yet goals are <laughs> raining elsewhere around the country. But Tusking, Tusking, being a champion, that is what you're always aware of. I mean, uh, the, the, the element of conceding goals, you should eradicate it and be able now to score goals. So both teams uh, being where they are, being scored is not in their books. That's why we still have 0-0. Zero, zero. So they, they need now to work a little more proneness to just scoring. Maybe we, we end up with a 1-0 from whichever side and uh, it crowns the day. <laughs> Gormaya on the attack there. Kennedy Otieno there. The referee calls back the ball because uh, Bonfils uh, Omondi was uh, fouled there in the middle of the field. Yeah, it yes. was a foul initially by Omwale. He held on to <laughs> Bonfils. But I think the referee was a little bit late. Let yeah. it flow. And uh, Ulinzi have really been comfortable in that defense. They have not been troubled. Gormaya picks that ball. Uh, <laughs> another foul on uh, the speedy winger Boniface Mondi, who was brought in to show up that uh, attacking department of Gormaya. Yeah, that, He's now that, fouled. That's this an one. open boot. That's a raised boot. Harun Mwale was in, is on his case. <laughs> he needs. Remember, remember, there is a confession for Harun Mwale. There was a. There was a Good cross there, goes out there for a goal kick. That man there, Kennedy, tried to latch onto that cross. It was a dicey one, but it, it couldn't good, connect. Good really cross well. by Bonfas from the flank. And he had a clear head on the goal, but uh, it was not very powerful indeed. It was very, very far. And he twisted it a little bit outside. He should have headed the ball back into the direction of play from where it came from. Lawrence Juma spreads the ball wide to Bonface Omondi, who crosses it really deep into the Gormai, uh, Ulinzi Stars goal, but the goalkeeper is equal to the task. A free and they are header, feeble header. Good play, good play, Lawrence. 
very composed laid out to Bonfaso, who delivered a first time cross. And Afire headed the ball, but he didn't have enough power to trouble uh, Timothy in the goal. And I think uh, Boniface Omondi vindicates the coach Steve Pollack because uh, he was brought in with Gormaya really needing those crosses and they are coming. They are coming from the right hand side because that's their main style, uh, area of play, the flank. Mulinzi starts uh, holding out here. Yeah. Daniel you can see with five minutes to go. Mulinzi still holding out to against Gormaya. Bernardo DX skips over, tries to cost, but uh, it's a poor cross. He kind of lacked uh, <laughs> that energy to cross the ball. Yeah, he was uh, initially tripped a little bit, but he stayed on his feet. That trip uh, took away uh, some energy, some calories from him. Tobias spread it wide to Lawrence Juma. Juma finds Geoffrey Ocheng. Ocheng, Ocheng gets to Dixon Ambundo. Ambundo. Try to find the Kennedy with that one touch there, looking for Tobias. Good back in stuff there. Tobias Otieno there, staying strong on that ball. What can he do? Crosses into the box. Ambundo there, tries to hit that ball, but what a shot there. It was a good <laughs> chance for Gormaya to take the lead here. He twisted and turned this man, Francis Afrie, and the ball dribbled, uh, you know, Very good combination. wide. Very good combination by Gormaya. Good play by Tobias. He stayed on his feet. Wanted to lay a bone first, but oh no. He decided to launch it to the box. Good reception. Good control by Ambundo. He laid to, he laid to Afie. Afie hit the first time. The second time he fell out for a corner. First corner there. Deep to the blind side, but uh, it's headed out for a goal kick. That is exactly what we needed in this game. That was a good delivery. Very good by Tobias. Good reception. Ambundo controlled it with the chest for he controlled it for Afie, and Afie took the shot. That's very good understanding and uh, technique. But I think <laughs> it would have been better if uh, Ambundo controlled it for himself, so that he could, should have stayed yeah. on his feet. But he lacked the balance. He lacked the balance because he was facing away from the goal. Mulinzi <laughs> with the ball now. That man there substituted Ezekiel Okare. Fouled. <laughs> that's a clean steal. By Bannon. <laughs> Referee, I think that's a clean steal. The referee was very close enough, close enough to doubt it. Not restart there. Ho, 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 the highest stall this year. <laughs> <laughs> six goals for a single match. Was it a six, Chemelil zero? Uh, free kick there. It was uh, quickly taken for Ulinzi, but that man there in Jibuna. Couldn't, uh, Good delivery by Njuguna, but uh, infringement by Zekielu tripped. Zekielu yeah. tripped uh, the defender. Tobias, uh, the middle there, unable to hold on to that. Uh, Enosho Cheng skips over his markers, uh, but he's out uh, maneuvered <laughs> there. Geoffrey Ocheng with the ball now. Canters down the left flank there, trying to look for Afrie. Afrie with the ball, two minutes to play. Ball goes out for a throw in for Ulinzi. We have uh, less than uh, two minutes to play here. And that man <laughs> there, Benjamin Nyangueso, said that uh, we'll respect Gurmaya, but we'll not give them space. Yeah, Has I, he done his work so far? He is done his work. He's done his work. Uh, his, his work was cut out nicely. Because you can see Gormai do not have uh, any space to play uh, in their defending, in the attacking zone. Only the few chances that uh, we've seen from Afie. Others, I think, uh, Ulinzi came to do exactly what they wanted to do to steal a point from uh, from Gormai. The fans, and, uh, they are happy. They are always happy. They are always energetic. <laughs> they are always pushing the team. And that is what uh, helps Gormai a lot. Because you can't count out even if it's one minute remaining. One of the interviews with the Gormaya team manager, he said, look, we owe it to the fans. The fans have stood with the team all through. That they is have. Jolawi Obondo yeah. saying that uh, the 12th man has been really important for Gormaya. They have, it have, it have, they have. They always stand behind the team. Kennedy, Kennedy finds uh, Ondieki there, but uh, 
doesn't have control of that ball. Charles Momani under pressure from Okare. Does well to get uh, Tobias Otieno. Otieno advances uh, the middle of the pitch. They are spread wide to Geoffrey Ocheng. Ocheng, Ocheng counters again to the left. They are finding um, Dixon. Dixon with a shot there, but set it out by Andai. Juguna. We have three minutes to play, added on time. That is the, uh, the fourth referee, Andrew Juma, signals there. And Ulinzi on the attack. Brian Birgen on the right flank. Shuffles his feet, gets the ball into the middle there. There's uh, Pompeo Onyango. Onyango tries to find John Juguna, but uh, loses his footing. Flies in with the tackle on Onyango, but fails. Dixon Ambuda now on the attack, on the left flank. What can they do? The last minute of this game crosses it, but then it's headed out by Andai. Uh, that was a good attack there, but they couldn't uh, do attack. much out good, of it. Good pass by Lawrence, but Afire, Afire had no options. His, his last pass was not powerful enough. He wanted to play it in centrally to his partner, Kagogo, Kennedy Otieno. But, uh, but I think he just uh, had to just compose himself and try to beat his men. What, what was the hurry of him uh, trying to cross that ball? Once he leaked up, he saw there were no numbers, so he thought uh, it was a good occasion to do it faster. Well, a throw in, and uh, that's a long one again into the goal area. The goalkeeper comes out there, drops the ball, and switches the really dangerous goalkeeper there. Misses the ball, but he makes amends. That is dangerous. That's a living dangerous. And the coach there, Steve Pollack, knows that uh, chance. But the Timothy, Timothy, Timothy teammates. needs to act better. Is it uh, butterfly at the last minute? It is not butterfly because uh, if I've if I've analysed him nicely throughout the match, he's not collecting the balls in the first part. He's always parrying it out, parrying it out. He's dropping the balls, creating second chances for his opponents to get the ball. And this was very, very, very dangerous. That was a chance. Now, Gormaya have another go at that attack. Bonifacio Mundi counters down the right flank. What can he do? He loses control of that ball, and it's cut out for a throw in. That man there came across, and uh, that is Muchika. Cuts it out for a throw in. Now, Gormaya with a throw in. 92 minutes of uh, play here. Two minutes of uh, the added on three. Ball floated into the goal area, but uh, Daniel Juguna gets it out there. Goalkeeper comfortably goes out there. Tries to restart, but then he loses position. That goes out for a throw in. Gormaya with a throw in. The confidence of uh, Timothy Odiambo has been uh, kind of, uh, you know, put into question there. Put into question, and uh, his style of uh, collecting those aerial balls needs to improve. As a goalkeeper, you need to collect it, not to parry it, uh, or if you parry it, parry it far away. He needs to, he needs to do that, yeah, Lawrence. Yeah. We've played uh, 93 minutes, and any time the referee should be blowing, uh, blowing his whistle. Still <laughs> nil-nil for Gormaya and Ulinzi. My word comes to pass. I think uh, it will be a stalemate. <laughs> uh, Toskin, uh, thank you as you head down for the coach's interview. The coach is lamenting. Gormaya zero, Lindsay zero. We are past the 93 minutes of our added by the referee. Any moment, uh, the referee will bring the holdings into an end. And there goes. Lucas Diambo brings this match to an end. Timothy Odiambo has stood firm in the goal, not letting uh, Gormaya score a goal. He's created another clean sheet for himself. Equally bon